Hello there guys. How is everyone doing today? It is a very hot day in Southern California today. Um, it was so hot yesterday I splurged and turned on my air conditioner. <laughs> I consider it a splurge. I can take the heat. So it has to be really, really hot for me to turn on the air conditioner. Hello there. So hi Teresa. Teresa Gillum. Hello there, you were first. Hi Brenda and and uh, Shetty and Lisa and um, Shelly and Leah and Brenda, uh, Brenda again. Okay, okay, okay. I can't keep mentioning you guys' name. I got to get to it because Cecil and I have somewhere to go after this and he's kind of waiting. So I'm going to do kind of a quick live and just kind of give you some highlights of some stuff that's going on. Uh, first, I want to piggyback off of my last live. Um, you know what? Um, some of you guys are sick, and some of you guys are going through some health issues. And I do think about you guys a lot. And it means a lot to me if I can bring some kind of joy and happiness or a smile on your faces. It really means a lot to me. So, with that said, I just want you guys to know that you're in my heart, my soul, my mind, and my prayers. And I wish you the best. And don't forget the Michael technique, the Michael healing technique I told you guys about, okay? All right. So, to piggyback off of, um, of what happened of the last live, right? I told you guys with my name is so easy to, to, to leave clues um, because it's Pearl. You know, Pearl is a popular word. It's a jewel, if you want to call the little cute little round white things that come out of oysters. I'm allergic to oysters. <laughs> pearl. Um, you can. And, you know, Michael had three songs that have pearl in it. Mama's Pearl, Invincible, and I think Liberian Girl. Um, so there's easy to leave clues, right, with pearl, right? So, um, Paris Jackson. I... I Paris has been the most active leaving clues. She really, really has. And she probably gets a kick out of the, the whole Death Hope saga, the adventure, and all that other stuff. Because it's fun. You know, it's nothing for anybody to be mad or upset or angry about. It's, just, it's fun. Okay? It's fun. And it's true. It's all 100% factual. It's all true. So, let's get to the Paris clue. This happened. She posted this hours after I said... Pearl is easy to leave clues. It's easy to leave clues because of my name. And she posted this. Da -da -da -da! Pearl Green Tea. Thank you, Paris. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of her. Right? Coincidence? I don't know. But it was hours after I just said that. So remember? And then I have something else for you guys. And you want to talk about coincidences? Remember when Jermaine tweeted this? Jermaine tweeted this in January 22nd, uh, 2012, right before the whole Michael Jackson, Groman Chinese Theater, Peter Medani, uh, Peter Pan, PYT, Hot Chocolate, Chris Tucker clue, right? So, and then there was a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you guys go back to my videos and look for like my January 2012 videos, you'll see some of the, my reporting from that time. Well, anyway, Jermaine had posted this and he says, yes, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Okay. So he was telling us, we set this up, girl. All right. So look at that. I just noticed that. The wink at the end. Because I would tell Peter all the time, even when we first met, I said, send me some wink, wink, nod, nod. Send me some wink, wink. So he called me for the first time on the 15th. We had talked, I think, the first time for hours. And, um, and then we talked like every day after that. So I think the first week we might have talked 30 to 50 hours the first week. And I told him, send me some wink, wink, nod, nod. So he thought that was so cute that I call it wink, wink, nod, nods. So look at that. I just saw that when I, had, when I looked at this, the wink at the end. 
So that was a double clue. That, that's a double clue that I didn't notice before. And that's just fun, fun, fun stuff for us believers. Because I believe the Jacksons have to play like Michael's dead to other people. But they send us clues, the believer community clues, you know, just to keep hope alive and keep us happy. Well, there are some more um, news stories that I'm going to go to. Some more news stories. Um, I don't know how to put it on uh, translate for people that speak another language. I get your emails and I went into my YouTube and I'm like, well, I don't know how to do that, you know. So if anybody knows how, for do do a video. Do send me a video of how I take my uh, videos and I translate them. Okay, you know, it has to be something quick because I surely don't have time to translate all this and transcribe. I I refuse. It's too much work. Because um, you guys know, it, I'm a one-person ship here. I do everything. I am the uh, I'm the driver to the post office. I am shipping and receiving. I am uh, the writer, director, the producer. I am um, the um, promo person. I'm customer relations. I'm all. I do everything. Cecil works a regular job. He helps when he can. Um, he's the webmaster for now. That's pretty much what he helps me do um, but uh, so it's just me so I can't do a whole bunch plus I'm working on a, a special project right now that I can't tell you guys about okay so we're gonna get down to some news okay um, Randy Phillips of AEG live he said he wants to do a possible tribute show with the Jackson family and friends Wow that sounds fun that sounds interesting is that where Michael would make a comeback? Because I always felt like it's going to be his own show, his own thing with his family, okay, as a support system. He's not going to show up at any Grammys and take away the shine from other people getting the Grammys. He wouldn't do that. He's not going to show up at a Super Bowl because he'd be taking the shine away from the game. So it would have to be something that's his with his family. Um, and him, something that he won't be taking the shine away from other people who work hard in their careers and deserve whatever recognition they get. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Okay. Um, so let's hope that happens, right? Um, um, and Missy Elliott. Oh, okay. All right. All right, guys. Peter, I, I think he has something to do with her getting that award. I really do. I really do. Because him and I have had talks about Missy Elliott. She, Janet loves her, and she loves Michael, period. She has been a great support. Did you guys know that I believe she's the one that tried to teach Michael how to rap? You know, how to rap on, um, I think, on Jam or something uh, during that time. Um, and that brings me to Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley is getting a star on Hollywood. So that's on the 17th. Um, so I'm not sure, I'm not probably not going to go, but it's still cool, you know, that congratulations, Teddy, congratulations, Teddy Riley, who I believe is still a believer, but he probably doesn't tell anybody because he probably gets laughed at or thought of as crazy, but you're not crazy, Teddy. You're not crazy, Teddy. Teddy probably watch all the Death Hopes videos and everything, him and Akon, because they believe in the Death Hopes. They believe in that, and they're right. They're right, but in the industry, oh, you can't, you can't tell nobody because they're going to tell you how crazy you are when they ain't never seen the dead body. They never did a DNA test, but they know he's dead. They know. They know, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, so, you know, we get laughed out of wherever. So we know that we're warm and cuddly amongst our believer, Noah, uh, our Noah family. Okay, so... Congratulations to Missy Elliott for getting the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award. She's going to be getting it at when it airs, but she has been the, the selected recipient of that award. You know, she also did another song called with a group called 702, and she brings up Michael Jackson in her rap, in her rap part. And then she has worn Michael Jackson attire at major award shows um, with big pictures of Michael on her shirt or on the back of her attire. Uh, Janet loves Missy. Okay, Janet loves Missy. Uh, uh, Missy comes on, uh, goes on tour with Janet sometimes and performs at Janet's concert. So that's always nice. Um, so we, you know, Peter and I have this, you did that. Just to make me feel bad about something. I'm not going to tell what it is, Peter. 
I'm not going to tell. Michael, Peter, Bobby, I'm not telling, but I got you. I got, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Dang it. All right. Missy Elliott, congratulations. And Teddy Riley, congratulations. What if Michael Jackson really faked his death? Now that would be something that jolts the senses. Hi, my name is Pearl Jr. and I'm an investigative journalist who has been professionally reporting on Michael Jackson since I was credentialed media at his 2005 child molestation trial in which he was fully acquitted. Now being the most famous person who has ever lived, but also the most sued person in the United States, you'd think he might want to escape his life of extreme fame to get his freedom. Therefore, based on information I've uncovered during this 10-year investigation into the death of Michael Jackson, I've discovered that perhaps he didn't die on June 25, 2009, but instead disappeared by pulling off one of the greatest hoaxes in world history. Well, in my short film, Take note that I've taken a few facts from my investigation, filled in the blanks, and changed the names to protect the guilty. I hope you enjoy my What If film called A Prisoner of Fame. Medical license and identification, please. Mesro is supposed to be talking to R. Kelly and might represent R. Kelly. I don't know, Tom. You know, because Tom had called me and told me first, before I told anybody else, that he was going to be representing Suge Knight. And I was like, I can't tell anybody. And he said no. And then two days later, it came out in the worldwide news. But I had already known because Tom would call me. And Tom and I are real cool. And we talk. And I told Tom, I said, I don't know about that, Tom. You know, I said, you better, I said, I saw the video of, the, of Suge, you know, driving that truck. And there was no hesitation at all. That was floor, okay? So you better find him turning his head to the side or something. But anyway, Tom ended up, you know, um, um, uh, not be representing Suge Knight after all. He just represented him for a little while. So I don't know. R. Kelly looked kind of guilty to me, Tom. Be careful. Be careful. He looked a little, them girls' tears. I mean, all of them, I mean, crocodile, I mean, dang, the pain that these women were in, my God. And then there's witnesses, and there's, oh, R. Kelly, man, dang, baby, dang, dang, R, dang, Robert, dang. Well, if he's not guilty, I owe you apology, but I feel like you kind of, that's where I'm skewing towards with you. You know, hey, if I see something that I believe, I will always be truthful and always be honest. You'll always get the real out of me, okay? Um, Tito told kind of a, Tito, Tito, you could sing better than I thought you could. For real. I said, I'm listening to Tito's music. I'm like, his music is kind of good. You know, it really is. And Tito, you should have had more little solo parts singing when you were with the Jackson 5. Your voice is really nice. And your music is hip for today? I mean, I think Tito's getting down. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And uh, so Tito was telling the story about Charles Barkley and how Charles Barkley kind of dissed him. And he was, Charles Barkley was talking about some teen 
um, that wasn't that good. And he said, you take one, such and such a player out is kind of like taking Tito out of the Jackson 5, which meant it wouldn't make a difference. Well, Charles, without Tito, we might not have a Jackson 5 because it was him breaking his daddy's guitar string that got Joe to take them seriously. That Joe said, well, then, boy, you come on out of here. You know, because Joe was like, who touched my guitar? Who touched my guitar? And then Joe was smart enough to say, okay, since you touched it, let me see you play. And Tito played, and, you know, that was Joe's beginning of going, wait a minute, I think we got a little something here. Because a lot of you guys may not know that uh, Tito, Jackie, and Jermaine were a group before Michael joined in, and Jackie and Reby used to enter dance contests together. Okay, Michael, we've all seen American Dream. Michael was five and five and lift every mountain, lift every voice, lift every mountain. And the song, I remember singing that song as a kid. I mean, that, that song was a very popular elementary school song. And, um, and then, remember Lawrence Hilton Jacobs? Oh, I saw Lawrence a few weeks ago, and we had, I had dinner with Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, as a matter of fact, um, not too long ago, because Cecil knows him. Cecil... Um, goes back with Lawrence Hilton Jacobs who played Joe Jackson they go back to like childhood <laughs> okay childhood okay um, so Cecil knows him I, I'm just Cecil's girlfriend and that's how I know him um, but anyway um, um, I saw him at an event that I went to and I got pictures but you know I, sometimes I don't post them because the haters are just they're like killjoys you know uh, but you know, I might post it anyway, you know, because they do something, they're going to do it anyway, and I might as well just be like, you know, they're going to do what they do, right? They're going to do what they do. Um, uh, but anyway, um, so remember during Hilton Jacobs when he, in American Dream, when Michael was singing and he looked at Catherine like, what the hell do we have here? When he saw little Michael, his son Michael, and before Michael's like, I want to join the group, I want to join the group, and Joe was like, you too little, you too little. Michael was like, I'll show him, I will show him, I'm not too little. I got, and Michael surprised them all, and Michael's been out, you know, he's been competitive since a little boy. I remember the cutest story that Catherine tells, and it's Michael's like one years old, barely walking, and they had a washing machine, and the washing machine was off balance. And Catherine was trying to fix the washing machine off balance, and Michael was holding on to her leg, and he was little, and he had a bottle in one hand, and he was holding on to her leg in another hand, and she said he was partying, dancing to the beat of the washing machine being off balance. She said she looked down and was like, what kind of kid is this? Well, we all learned what kind of kid that was, right? Right? But those are just little heartwarming, cute little stories that, you know, that, you know, it, it makes me smile. I hope it makes you guys smile. Okay? All right. So um, let's get to, um, so Tito, you know, forget, forget Charles, you know, and, and Tito said that motivated him because he was, Charles was pretty much saying you, you could have had a Jackson 4 and you wouldn't have noticed, but no, that, Tito is an excellent guitar player, excellent guitar player, and um, he's the catalyst to the Jackson 5 success, okay? And you know what, real quick, I thought about the Jackson boys, all of them have something special, like Jackie's the oldest boy, he, he, he shares a birthday with Catherine, right? Tito started the group with the guitar and daddy and getting a whooping and all that, then there is um, uh, Jermaine, and Jermaine looks like Catherine, and he was also the other voice, okay, and Jermaine's a bass player, and he was the other voice in the Jackson 5, um, and then there's Marlon, who had a twin, right, that happened to die, but he had a twin, and then Randy's like the baby boy, so they all have something to feel special about, and then Michael, of course, gorgeous, born beautiful, um, and um, just talented, sing and dance, and motivated. I mean, that is a once-in-a-lifetime person. A once-in-a-lifetime person, and it kills me what Wade and James are doing to Michael. It is heartless. It is cruel. It is, it is unbelievably selfish. And um, you're going to rot in hell for it because you know that karma is going to get you. It's bad. 
it's bad to do that. Wade and James, it's bad. Just come out and say, you know, I, I, it wasn't right. Okay, so anyway, so there's documentaries out um, that you guys can watch. Um, um, I, I can't watch. I just, I've had enough of Wade and James. I've just had so much. I just can't. My mind is already made up. I mean, when we've identified 60 lies, I mean, what more do you need to tell me? But anyway, Geraldo Rivera, who, who, um, who supported Michael Jackson, right, and Trace Gallagher, I remember seeing him at the 2005 trial. They're Fox, Fox, Fox News reporters. And, um, and I'm not going to show you that, um, show you the footage. But anyway, they did a news story. And uh, Geraldo Rivera the, talked about one of the documentaries, I forget which one, because there's two of them that are out. Um, um, but anyway, he said that uh, um, the lies, and he talked about Wade's released um, video of his deposition from 2016. And there's just more lies in there, okay? Because he says that the first time, he's, it, the first time he was molested, his sister slept downstairs, and he slept upstairs with Michael, and that's the first time he was molested. Whoa, 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 whoa! I thought you said you were molested when they left you there, Wade, and they went to the Grand Canyon, and you were left there for the weekend, and that was the first time. So it, it just becomes so, I can't, I can't stomach to watch the lies. I can't stomach it. I mean, it's just, you guys, you guys can watch it, and please do, and please support. I just... If, if, if I have to watch it, because Neverland, watching Leaving Neverland, took almost everything out of me. I mean, it's just, oh my God, oh my God, it was excruciating to watch the lies like that, because I know what happened at the 2005 trial, because I was there and I sat in the courtroom and I did a documentary about it, which means when you do a documentary, you've got to do a whole bunch of research, because everything that you know does not make the documentary. You've got to pick and choose what goes in the documentary out of a whole bunch of stuff, so a whole bunch of information doesn't make it into a documentary for various reasons, okay? So I learned so much by making the documentaries, um, the trial and triumph of the King of Pop documentary. But I just, I, 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 I just, you know, you know, the train station lie, the happy birthday lie, the, you know, just no witnesses, you know, testifying under oath, the first one. I mean, you can go on and on and on and on and on, on and on and on about the ridiculousness and then Wade has the nerve to say too bad they kept Michael Jackson's name on the video MTV Video Vanguard Award really Wade what did Michael do to you except for make you and your mother's lives make your dreams come true okay you're wrong you're wrong and you know you're lying and Geraldo Rivera knows you're lying too and I'm gonna tell, tell you something the lady that was interviewing Geraldo I forget her name on Fox um, she was like um, looking at Geraldo like he crazy <laughs> when he got facts proven that they lied and all they got are words coming out of their mouth with zero proof zero evidence zero anything nothing but words come in their mouth they don't even have a witness they have nothing nothing and this woman is going to sit there and act like you know she believes them because they told a graphic story graphic stories are in uh, are in uh, um um What's what's the gray um, forty gray? What is it called? Gray. Um, it was a book first, <laughs> and it has the weekend song in it. Forty ounces of gray or something. I don't. Well, somebody uh, type that to me, okay? Forty sh shades of gray. Shade of shades of gray. Forty shades of gray or something like that. Anyway, that's a graphic story. Anybody can tell a graphic story. A porno is a graphic story, honey. Okay, it's all fake acting with lights and everything. People can tell graphic stories, and just because you tell a graphic story does not mean it's true. And you know what? Anybody right now, we're all in trouble right now. Because if anybody can say words out of their mouth and destroy somebody's life, destroy somebody's life without any proof or any evidence or any um, facts, that could happen to that woman that was shaking her head about Geraldo. No, you're just stupid, Geraldo. Like, like he, like Geraldo's wrong. When Geraldo's bringing the facts that these are liars, right? How about somebody making up a story about you? How about somebody that with your your kid that went to some uh, daycare, and then gonna say, yeah, I saw her in the bathroom, uh, fiddling up a little girl's skirt. 
You know what I'm saying? And then everybody's supposed to believe that when it's not true. So we got to all be careful believing people with just words coming out of their mouth. That's unconstitutional. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty. There's my phone. I don't think it's him, though. No, it's not him. That was funny, right? Last week, wasn't that great? Oh, hold on. Let me answer it. Okay. Wasn't that great, guys? When Peter called? That was so fun. I did not know he was going to call, but that was so fun. But he called this morning. We had a group call this morning. I'm getting hot. Okay. We had a group call this morning, and that was kind of fun. Um, let's see. Um, but Geraldo did a good job defending Michael today. Okay. Oh, well, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, but it's, it's on YouTube. It's a Geraldo Rivera Fox News report about, you know, Wade and James. So I think I went through all my little notes. Um, let's see. Um, so, um, you guys, we keep Michaeling. We keep Michaeling. And um, I think I'm done. Uh, what, 40 Shades of Grey. That's what it was. 40 Shades of Grey. Where did I get that? That's a graphic story, right? It's just made up. How come people don't think people can make up stories? We got movies. Okay? We got all kinds of movies. Right? Come on. You know, there's hundreds of thousands of movies where they're just made up stories and people act in them. They cry and ooh, you can believe movies can make you cry. That's how good people can act and people can make up stuff and fabricate stuff or learn something. Okay? So we gotta be we gotta be careful about that. Fifty shades of gray. Somebody said fifty. Is it fifty? Okay, I don't know where I got forty from. Um um, no, Peter did not call. That was not a Peter call. Okay, guys, Cecil's waiting on me. I got to go. Yeah, 50 Shades of Grey. Thank you, guys. So many of you guys said, Pearl, Pearl, 50, 50, 50. Thank you. You guys are so sweet and so smart. You guys are my only fam my other family. You know that. I love you guys. And I'm trying to be happier, you know, not be depressed and not be upset, you know, but I'm, I'm a little paranoid about them, um, you know, because, you know, gosh. All right, so I think that's about it, guys. Um, I wish everybody the best. If I forgot to mention something, I hope not. Um, you know, yeah, they want Michael Jackson's money. That's but uh, oh, we we should be getting the um, within the next thirty thirty to forty five days. We should be getting the response from the appeal. Okay, we should be getting a decision on the appeal. Let's just hope it is done. Done, 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 done. Okay? Then we wait for Taj's documentary to come out. Um, all right, guys. I think that's it. Um, and uh, I love you guys. And I wish you guys don't let the haters ruin my spirit. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. But anyway, anyway, I'm going to make it. I'm going to survive. I'm going to survive. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys next time, okay? Ciao. Keep Michaeling.